Hello and welcome to VMware ARIA Automation Getting Started video series, Your Journey to Success. In this video, the Automation Assembler Administrator can deploy a simple virtual machine without creating an ARIA Automation template. We will launch the VMware ARIA Automation service, click on ARIA Automation Assembler, and navigate to Resources, Deployments, Virtual Machines. This page will show you all the discovered virtual machines based on the cloud account you have added to VMware ARIA Automation. And similar to the All Resources page where we demonstrated in the Getting Started Take Quick Actions on Your Discovered Resources video, you can take essential day two actions against those virtual machines and find more details about it. Make sure to watch the video if you still need to. Please note again that only ARIA Automation Assembler administrators will see discovered resources on the various pages in VMware ARIA Automation Assembler. The main difference between the virtual machines and the All Resources page is that administrators can create new VMs for specific projects by clicking Plus New VM on the Virtual Machines page and using the Workflow Wizard. This method is easy to quickly deploy a virtual machine based on image templates, sizing flavors, storage, and networks defined by the cloud provider. It is also considered a quick test of your cloud account and projects. You can create a virtual machine for any supported cloud service provider like AWS, GCP, Azure, vCenter Server, and VMC, which is VMware Cloud on AWS. All you need is a configured cloud account, a cloud zone, and a project that associates users with a cloud zone as demonstrated in our Getting Started Organize Resources and Users into Projects. Make sure to watch the video if you still need to. Please ensure your cloud zone is configured with your desired targeted computing resources. Let's go ahead and deploy our first virtual machines to our vSphere cloud zone. In the general section, we will provide the name of the virtual machine, select the project you are creating the VM for, select the cloud zone where you want to provision the machine. The cloud zone list you choose from will depend on what cloud zones the project has access to. Add a machine resource tag so it can be used as metadata for reporting or as group membership criteria, for example. Click Next to select the image and flavor you want to create the virtual machine from. The image source can be local or a URL pointing to an OVA image file. If local is selected and we are deploying to a vSphere-based cloud zone, you can choose a template configured at the cluster level or saved in a vCenter content library. The image is the operating system and the flavor is the defined size options. Some target cloud provider types like vSphere in our scenario requires you to specify the CPU and memory sizes and instead of selecting a defined size option, as we see normally with public cloud providers. We will enter an optional customization specification name for the corresponding guest operating system if you have one and specify the CPU and memory size for the virtual machine. You can stop here and deploy the machine by clicking Create to inherit the template settings or click Next to add optional storage and or select your destination network for this virtual machine. We will skip adding additional storage by clicking Next and we'll move to configure our networking setting by selecting our destination network and IP assignment. Finally, click Create to deploy the virtual machine. We can monitor our deployment in real time in the deployment section of the resources tab and manage it once completed successfully. On the deployment level, we can apply various day two actions like deleting the deployment, powering off, changing owner, changing project, or editing deployment to change things like the auto-generated deployment name or icon. We can also dive into our deployment. 
by clicking the deployment name to view the deployment summary information. Look through the deployment history or apply day two actions on our virtual machine resource by selecting the resource in the topology page and clicking actions menu. Notice here that we have many more day two virtual machine actions to choose from compared to the day two actions available on a discovered virtual machine resource. Since the VM is now deployed and managed by ARIA Automation, we can see the same thing if we navigate to Resources, Deployments, Virtual Machines. As you can see, if we click the ellipses next to the virtual machine names, there are many more day two actions to choose from compared to the one you find on a discovered virtual machine. In addition, the deployed machine is part of a deployment and a project. Therefore, we can see the associated deployment and project names. On the other hand, there are no deployment or project associated with any discovered machines. The deployed machines also has a deployed origin type compared to a discovered origin type, indicating that ARIA Automation manages the virtual machine now. Finally, the Automation Assembler Administrator can activate the new VM option to allow Automation Service Broker users, since it's disabled by default, to deploy simple virtual machines as well. Navigate to Infrastructure, Administrations, Settings, and then click on Create New Resource, and toggling the Allow to Create New Resource option and hitting Save. Now, if we switch to Service Broker from the top menu, quickly select our project, navigate to the virtual machines. We can see that the new VM option is also now available here. In the following Getting Started video, we will show you how cloud administrators can onboard discovered machines for day-to-day -day management in ARIA Automation Assembler. Thank you for watching.